Hello, friends. Welcome back to the Golden Tea Lounge. Happy Thursday. Kevin Lindsay here. It's time to take a look at this week's Freaky Friday that's coming to you tomorrow to every Golden Tea Live and Golden Tea PGA Tour game that is updated to 2022 at your favorite local watering hole. Kicking things off for our West Coast Swing, our favorite Pacific located designs, Whispering Valley, hole number 11. This is a fun first hole, and also, I hate it, um, but I love it at the same time. Uh, this is a hole that used to haunt me and taunt me as a younger Golden Tee player because I didn't know what an 8-wood was, and I was trying to use an iron to get to the hole. Uh, I'm sure somebody crazy will use a 5-hybrid and get on the green and probably drain it without an issue, um, but for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and swing in a nice eight wood. It's okay if you get it out there a little bit far to the right because I'm gonna kick off the green and roll. I'd much rather have a far putt or even maybe a chip, but I'm not in the water. And this is a mix of par threes, par fours, par fives. Uh, so you're gonna see a little bit of everything as we move on to Timber Bay number three. You know, this week we've been talking about um, events mode and other pieces of golden tea where we've seen some holes that haven't made their way into a contest in a long time and uh, timber bay number three is definitely one of those more than likely you're going to have to hit through some trees to get on the green there uh, but don't do too high of a club you don't want to use a driver because you can potentially get right through those trees and in um, the water Hole number three, Bear Lodge number seven, another one of those that is tricky, but if you think about it too hard, you will probably screw yourself up. I'm just going to take a three wood, pull it out to the C, softly throw it out to the three. Again, you just want to avoid the trees, maybe do a little skip. Oh, could this go in? Oh, we'll probably not be able to do that shot ever again. I honestly don't know the last time I had a successful hop shot. Wasn't the intention, but if you're using the three wood, probably a good way to go because coming in hot on that green with the three wood, probably going to kick right off into the sand or the water. Now, as we play through this setup, if it is good, we'll take those conditions and put them into tomorrow's contest. I uh, haven't seen the setup yet, so I'm not really sure, but hole four, Cypress 18, another one of those long lost holes um, that we haven't had it in a contest in a while. Another hole that may look intimidating, but honestly, if you just get up there and throw a nice driver, high tee driver, you've got a little bit of a hill, not as much of a backboard as I'm sure a lot of you probably would want, but you have a little bit of a hill that you can kind of putt right off of like I did just there. Hole five, Baja Ria, number 14. A fun one from the 2021 Golden Tee courses. Again, not a terrible look. But so far, on Eagle Pace. Now, you can't have West Coast without some Sequoia Grove. As much as you, me, and a bunch of people probably hate this course. Um, this is always a tough hole. It, it You can... You can throw a five wood out there and go around these trees. You could try to hit it left. I'm going to try, keyword, very, very much a keyword, try to hit a high T five wood through that little gap up there because then the wind is going to take it right on an adventure. And the nice part is if you guys have this set up tomorrow, you, can, you don't have to hold flyby to see where that gap is. You can see the little V between the trees. Just aim for that. And then hopefully you get, just like I did, where nice little shot, that up five will help roll it closer to the green, uh, excuse me, to the cup. And then boom, putting in for our sixth eagle in a row as we get to Pine Coast 18. Now this hole you guys have seen recently in a couple of contests. Um, this is a fun hole. It's a very difficult hole 18. Here on hole seven of Freaky Friday, only eight mile an hour wind, so 
not as bad, <laughs> depending on uh, what your flavor of that is. Depending, not as bad as it could be. Um, problem is, I am terrible at this hole, so I don't know. I'm going to try to hit a, a high T8 wood around this bush, avoid those trees up top, and then also not spin off the green. So, okay, two things here. Good thing is that shot will work. Bad thing is I didn't hit it out as far as I needed to. But thankfully, stayed dry. Look at that, five hybrid chipping back in the game. I may not play Golden Tee for another couple weeks because so far we're spot on. Seven holes, seven eagles, and then we get to Whispering Valley, hole 15. Um, I should have talked about the eagles I was hitting because this hole's like, hey, not too difficult, but also not easy. The trouble with this setup here with 10 mile an hour wind, 305 or 304, is that if you hit a high five wood, you don't have a lot of green to stop that 10 mile an hour wind from blowing your ball off the green. But the also same thing goes if you're hitting a three wood and trying to backspin it or bite it. I'm going to press my luck and I'm going to do three wood with bite here. I want to hit it hard enough that it gets over that tree. It didn't, but that's okay. I'm still going to be short of uh, the bushes here. Maybe not. Oh, I definitely didn't need to roll, but those bushes also didn't, uh, you know, do their thing and be a bush. So pro tip, if you happen to, to hit it there, you might be okay. So, of course, I opened my big fat mouth talking about how we had 70 eagles in a row, and then, boom, par on the eighth. Go figure. Volcano Palms, number eight. A hole that has probably seen more love in Golden Tee Mobile lately than in Golden Tee Live. Uh, also, not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I, I swore I pulled that more to the A and, and hit it out. Um, but also shout out to that corner edge of the bunker for uh, saving Eagle there. If that would have went in, I might have saved that and tried to put it in a shot of the week. So there you go. Nine holes. Some difficult, some a little bit easier, um, but a good challenge for what a Freaky Friday contest should be. Kick things off in the back nine. Bear Lodge 18. This is a fun one. But as fun as it is, it also isn't. Um, not a really good setup here. 373. I am going to get my JoJo on. And I'm going to high T a 10.5 degree driver. Full C. Straight to the two. No if or ands about it. Because I got to go 373. I also crushed that. So that's a good thing to note. The shot, pretty solid. I hit a little bit to the right of the two, not as much um, dead center as I, as I wanted it. But for you guys, maybe a three wood. Don't crush the 10. If you hit the 10, hit it soft. Let it kind of roll and trickle on that green. So again, for as tough as that hole is, not a bad setup. <clears throat> Speaking of tough holes and terrible setups, uh, say hello to hole 11, which is Cypress number 9. This one, this is definitely going to be an eagle you're going to have to work for. But we're going to do the same thing as the last hole. Straight up, pull that back to the C. I'm going to hit it a little bit to the right of the two because I've got a win. I've got a six wood. It should get there, get past these rocks. And then honestly, once you get past those rocks, if you hit it hard enough, you can uh, have a chance at eagle. Now... Am I just the world's best chipper today? Absolutely not, but uh, I will take the sand save GSPs for an eagle. Uh, if you get stuck in the bunker, highly recommend bouncing it off the fringe with roll and getting your eagle that way. I, I don't know why that hole is difficult to people. Hole 12, Pine Coast number 10. Of course, we have to include the West Coast drivable par 5. Uh, what kind of golden tee fanatics would we be if we didn't? This one's actually a pretty easy setup. I say that, probably going to drop it in the water. But I'm not going to do a 10.5. I'm not going to do a high 3 wood. I'm going to just hit a semi-hard, semi-soft, 9.5 degree driver. Because that pin is in the right-hand side, I have a lot of that green to use. Now, I just needed to... Okay. 
I'm okay with chipping in because, again, this is a drivable par 5. Oh, I, I didn't deserve that. So I'm more than happy to take the eagle here. Um, man, honestly, even with that Bear Lodge 18 hole, this is this is actually a pretty good setup. I'm going to see if we can save this and move it on over as we go to Volcano Palms number 12, hole 13 in today's contest. Um, you can hit a 3 hybrid, you can hit an 8 wood, you can hit a 5 hybrid. I, uh... My only concern about the 8 wood, and there's not actually a legitimate one, never mind. We're going to just hit a soft 3, uh, excuse me, a soft 8 wood. No pullback, just a little push right into the cup, please. Please, no, no. All right, close enough. All right. Could be doing better, but also could be doing much worse. And I say that as we walk into Sequoia Grove Hole 13. This is a fun one, depending on what your definition of fun is. Most likely going to need a low T driver. If you have an 8.5 degree driver, this is a perfect hole for you. If you're using a 9.5 like me, you're going to probably have to do some cutting. Oh, if that wind doesn't screw me, which it totally kind of did. Not a tough hole. This is not a, a hole that you're probably going to be going after for a hole in one or a shot of the week. But if you make it, it's probably going to be a good candidate for shot of the week because that pin is tucked so far on the left-hand side. But at least the wind's blowing to your right, so you get a little bit of uh, opportunity there. Hole 15, Timber Bay 18, another hole that, frankly, we just haven't had in one of our contests in a long time. I'm going to hit a soft 3-wood. Um, you got a down 10 green slope, which will help you at once you get to the green. This is a tough one. I, I don't want to hit the three wood too hard. We went through that a little bit with the bear lodge hole earlier. Um, but I think if this setup remains the same, you guys will have a good opportunity to get um, to get an eagle unlike me. Hole 16, Timber Bay, number six. Design a hole contest. Make sure you go to goldentee.com slash D-A-H to see the rules for design a hole. Submissions end this Sunday. Wink, wink. I can't wink. We're not even going to try. But go in there, submit your chance to win a Golden Tee PGA Tour Clubhouse Edition, our home edition of the PGA Tour game that is coming soon. Asterix, italicize, underscore, bold, whatever. Coming soon. More on that about that later. But you're no longer winning just a Golden Tee home edition. You're going to win one of the first Golden Tee PGA Tour Clubhouse home edition. So, goldentee.com slash D-A-H for more information on that. As I completely jagged this hole and put it right into the sand, uh, sorry, Chris Woody in the lighthouse, I uh, did not do the design justice, nor did I do my good luck, my good run of chipping any justice either, but that's okay. Now we get to hole 17, Pine Coast number four. Um, because it is hole 17, you get a nice strong wind. I really want to hit a six wood here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. But you've got a nice little opportunity to low tee your shot and get it through these trees. And when you do that, please don't do what I just did. Actually hit the damn track ball. Um, Oh, right off the stick almost. Uh, again, this is not one of those kind of cake setups where you play once with your buddies and it's like, all right, I got my score. I'm getting a couple dollars back. You may have to play a few, but that's the fun thing, whether you're a new player, uh, a, a hack who's sometimes good like me or somebody like an Andy Haas or Evan Gossett or Jim Sara, you're going to play multiple times because you have the opportunities to get better at those shots when the daily contest stays with the same setups for so long. And then, because I was feeling generous, uh, we had hole 17 here at Hollywood Hills, and I did not feel like getting uh, threats on my life. So we changed to Hollywood Hills hole number five here. Um, this one, again, hole number five you've never seen is hole 18, so it's got a little bit stronger of a win. Uh, I also am terrible, apparently, on the back half of this game. But... All in all, as long as we can work our magic on the IT net side, I think this is a setup we're going to see. So although this is a preview, 
you very well may see a live stream tomorrow of the same setup. No guarantees though, goldentee.com slash locations to find a live or PGA Tour updated to 2022 near you. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys for more Golden Tea on Friday.